Now we're just arriving in Sydney right now. You arrive right downtown. It's absolutely stunning. Let me show you a little bit. Now Sydney is by far one of the most beautiful city I ever seen. It reminds me of Los Angeles meets Vancouver. I only spent three days here and my first impression of the city is happiness. There is really no other place like it. If you are a foodie, you will find many places to eat here with local and international options. Or hop on the ferry, spend the day at the beach. Shopping is also fantastic here. The vineyards are also at your doorstep and there's much more to do and to see. Well, the view here is absolutely stunning. We have a really good day today as well. So it's nice to see you have a great view of the city. And then you also have the upper house that's right here. The cruise ship terminal is actually right here too, so it's really close. And of course, the bridge as well. So anyway, we're just looking at the um, uh, botanical garden and then we're going to the upper house for our tour. We're just going for a walk in the Royal uh, Botanical Garden. The Royal Botanical Garden, the largest of three botanical gardens in the city. I right, currently at the uh, Opera House. We're just going to do a tour of the Opera House. I think it lasts for about an hour or so, so I'm going to take as many pictures as I can. So let's go take a look. Now they received for this masterpiece 233 different design. Um, the cost was supposed to be only 7 million, which is not too bad, but the final cost was 102 million. Now let me tell you about the famous tiles that's covering this roof. They used over 1,056,000 roof tiles to cover an area of approximately 7,000 square feet that sit on the structure. The tiles were also made by a Swedish company. Now the color of the beautiful glass along the building was created in France. It actually covered over 66 thousand square feet of glass. Amazing. Now when you walk inside you will actually notice the concrete seating beams. They actually change shape as they rise from a T shape to a Y and then a U shape depending on where the level of stress is the greatest. These folding beams replace the need for columns to support the weight of the structure. So they actually have seven performance venues here. They have the concert hall, the opera theater, the playhouse, the drama theater, the studio, the forecourt, and the Hudson room. All right, so just went for the tour at the opera house, which is just right here. We're actually at the opera bar right now, and we're just gonna have a little cocktail. Beautiful today. Uh, the tour, it's a must, it's amazing, so definitely uh, check it out. And I think it was about $35 or so. All right, so today we're going to the zoo. We're going to see a couple of things. We've got a hop on, hop off uh, tour. So this is basically what we're gonna do today. And the boat's actually right behind me. It leaves in about 20 minutes, so it's not too bad. So anyway, let's go check out the kangaroos. So while you get there, enjoy the beautiful view of the Sydney Harbour. Also take a look at your map because you will need it. You will most likely get lost. You will see it's very big there. Ask for direction, ask for what time are the shows and also the areas you'd like to see in the zoo. All right, so welcome to the zoo. We just took the ferry and we just arrived. It takes about 20 minutes. We're just about to take the uh, Sky Safari, which is like a Skyliner. And it takes about five minutes and then we're gonna be in the zoo. So let's go. 
we actually had to rush because we saw this huge group of students coming in so we wanted to get there as fast as possible so make sure you take the sky safari so you actually take a ride across the Taronga Zoo viewing the exhibit from above you'll enjoy the brilliant view out across the Sydney Harbour as you can see here as well as the elephant exhibit that you will see below when we arrive Now this zoo is massive, there's over 2,600 animals, around 340 species on 21 acres. The koalas are so adorable but they are very picky eaters, they will only eat 50 of the 700 kinds of eucalyptus found in the forest and they will only eat the tip of each leaf. The reptile world, as you enter this exhibit, you will see the world's largest lizard. The Komodo dragon is on display. Inside, you will also see a range of snake, lizard, turtles, and also frogs. Now say hello to the Australian largest snake. This python can actually swallow a small wallaby, but it takes several hours. A meal this big will last many months. Let me tell you, if I would see this in the wild, I would run so fast. This is the Australian rainforest of Yari. You can see a range of colorful birds as they fly all around you. African safari. Here's a large chimpanzee colony is on display. Nearby live giraffe, zebra, bongos, barbary sheep, and feet neck foxes. There is also a lively colony of meerkats on display. Now if you feel like a challenge, the wild rope is an optical course with challenges such as the flying fox above the ground. This challenge has a separate entrance to the zoo so it can be completed separately or part of your zoo visit. Right behind me is the red kangaroo which is such an iconic Australian animal of the outback. Absolutely beautiful and a lot bigger than I thought. They actually spend most of their day sleeping or they're just resting in the shade. make sure you hit the gift shop not only to buy a souvenir but just to let you know Taronga is actually a non-for-profit organization so the purchase you're making here will actually go towards their work for the wildlife and the conservation here and also around the world. And now we just took the ferry boat we're actually in Menley's Wharf. It's actually beautiful there's a lot of little shops and restaurants so we're gonna go ahead and take a look. Much of the coastline here is actually on change, or it's like going back in time. It's absolutely beautiful. So take a stroll along the main street. You'll find a lot of shops. Grab a bite, grab a coffee, and that will also lead you to the beach. Now watch out for the jellyfish, but relax on the beach and soak up that sun while watching the surfers. You also want a famous beach? Make sure you go to Bondi Beach make sure to go it is one of the most famous beach in the world now did you know one of the best thing to do here in Sydney is actually to climb this famous landmark yes you can actually feel like you're on top of the world it will take you three and a half hours to climb the Sydney Harbour Bridge but you will get that iconic picture on top of the bridge We'll take a ferry or walk to King Street Wharf, a perfect place for happy hour drinks and also get a table on a terrace and watch the beautiful sunset. I really hope you enjoy our episode today. Make sure you click subscribe to our channel. Be the first one to see my video. Like, share and feel free to give me any feedback. I always love to hear from you guys. This is Sebastian for Jet Set. Thank you so much for watching. Safe travel everyone.